gin. It was perfect. Hmm, you liked it then. You think? Well, good. I'm glad. And you read all of these? Yes, I have. Which one is your favorite? Not a fair question. Oh, come on, you can't say all of them. Okay, look on the left. I think it's, uh, yeah, top. D.H. Lawrence, The Rainbow. Mm -hmm. This one's your favorite? You know, I think you might like it. Take it. Okay. Thanks. Oh, wow. <laughs> Where was this one taken? California. Oh, I love it. Would you take me? To California? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Sorry, nervous habit, I guess. Am I making you nervous? No. No, I just... I'll stop. Hmm. Okay, so this can wait until tomorrow. Talk to me. What do you want to hear? <laughs> All of it. Catch me up. I don't know. You're always asking me about my life, but I'm so much more interested in you. Hmm. Well, my life is hardly glamorous. You cannot be serious. You love to read, and you travel, and you meet people. Oh, I just think it's wonderful. Thank you. But you know you have good things going on yourself. I know. I just... I can't help but imagine a life unlike my own. It's just something I do. Hmm. So you're a dreamer. Well, ambition can be a very healthy thing. You've grown. That's a good thing. May I choose another to take with me? Yeah. Of course. Can I only pick one out? You're stunning. I have to stop. Don't you find me attractive? I do that. You can be honest with me. Just tell me that you want me. What I want has nothing to do with I can see right through you.
We have to go. Miss Turner? Rosie, hello. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was looking for you earlier. I, Where did you run off to? I just had some things to take care of. Never mind. Okay. Ruth took the girls swimming in your absence. You know oh. how she loves to spoil them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were just so excited. Oh. Uh, as I was saying, there's nothing left for you to do. Uh, you're going to have your hands full enough when the group gets back. <laughs> I'll just tidy up here and be on my way. Thank you. Hello? Hey, Rose. Um, it's Bobby. I wanted to talk to you. Hello? Rose? Uh, it's, it's Bobby. Hi. How are you? Um, great. I'm... I was actually just calling to say I'm sorry about the other night. And, um... The other night? Oh, I'd, um, I'd forgotten all about that. You did? Well, there's no point in bringing it up again, then. I've been thinking about you a lot, and I would really like to see you again. Would you be interested in getting dinner this weekend? You sort of caught me at a bad time. I see. So you are still upset then? No. I'm not upset with you, honest. It's not you. You're great. It's just that... I'm not... Listen, you just caught me at a bad time. I'm not ready to have dinner. Okay? I understand. Sometimes I just want to be alone, too. I'm not that different from you, you know? I know. You're a good friend. Hmm. Uh, Bobby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that... I'm not giving up on you, Rose. Maybe if... Hello? What brings you by? Is everything okay? Yeah. I just wanted to see you. What is it you're doing exactly? What do you mean? You know what I mean. I... And yesterday's... Whatever you're doing, you have to stop. Whatever I'm doing? I never wanted this to happen. I... Um... I just had this feeling, like, I, I, I just, I really wanted to kiss you again. You know, I think it would be best if we just pretend this whole thing never happened. I, you can't be serious. My mind is consumed with it. I, I mean, I can't sleep. Well, nothing I, like that will happen between us again. No, you can't mean that. I do. Well, why not exactly? This is not up for discussion. Rose, what I am, the things I do, it isn't okay. So what? Listen. What were you? Just listen. 
You have the chance to be a healthy, normal girl, and I have to protect that. You know, the novelty of this will pass. You'll go on to find a man who can take care of you and give you everything that can you Can you even hear yourself? All I can do is think about the next time that you're going to touch me. I've never felt anything so wonderful in my life. Oh, that doesn't make it right. No one, and I mean no one, can find out about so, this. No, so what if it's not right? I've seen the way that you look at me. I know that you liked it too. Now, I don't know how we're going to go about this, but we'll figure it out, okay? okay? I always figure things out, you know that. You are 18 years old. So what? Just kiss me again. I think you need to leave. Don't say that. And you can't come in here every free minute of your day. People have a way of making assumptions. Good evening. Uh, Can I help you? I'm, I meant to find the main office. I just wanted to drop off the package. Sorry. <laughs> I don't actually know where it is. Um, would you mind pointing me in the right direction? I wouldn't mind at all. But it's closed now. It's late, you know? No, you can drop it off with me, just the same. Who's the lucky girl? Uh, it's for Rose. Are you Bobby? Yes. D do you know her? Yes. She's told you about me. She has. And you are, uh... Bobby. It's late. And this is a girl's camp. Maybe next time you want to drop by in the morning. In the morning. Doesn't look right, you know? Could you make sure she gets it, though? Certainly. Thanks. Sorry for bothering you. I'm Jin, by the way. Sounds familiar. Guess I've heard of you, too. Small world, right? <laughs> it was nice meeting you, miss.
Virginia. I'm glad to see I'm not the only night owl around. I'm not sure why. Just felt like walking. <laughs> I know why. We take care of these children all the day long, every meal and activity, every bicker and spat they get into, scraped elbows, homesickness, first periods, God love them. <laughs> it's exhausting. But Virginia, that doesn't mean it's always easy to rest. That is when we get the urge to walk. Ah, luckily, I found the cure. Is that so? Uh-huh. Come on. They grow on you, though. Hmm? Even the older girls, me. <laughs> Their hearts are in the right place. Oh, how they manage to wrangle those little rascals day in and day out is beyond me. They're patient in a way I never was. Hell, at that age, all I could think of was myself. <laughs> well, I think it takes a special kind of woman to be a leader. Hmm, ain't it the truth? You deserve some credit, though. Those girls really look up to you. I'm serious. You're a natural nurturer, natural caretaker. Those girls treat you like a daughter treats a mother. And that's a special thing. Especially little Rose. She seems to prefer your company over girls her own age. Well, I suppose she thinks I'm easy to talk to. Mm, I'll bet. Mm -hmm. and your advice is doing wonders for her. She's coming into herself quite nicely. That boy from the city is after her now. <laughs> he is quite a suitor for a girl like her. I only hope she has the good sense to not let him get away. Isn't it something? the games we play as men and women. Since you have her ear, maybe you can give her a nudge in the right direction. I'll be sure to do that. Yeah. Thanks for the beer. Anytime, dear. Disintegration that new queen fitting to the overarching heaven.
Hello? Hey, I didn't expect anyone to be out here so early. I was actually just about to be going. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Care to stay a while longer? Come on, walk with me. Okay. You haven't come by in a week? I've missed your visits. I've been working on some things. I read the book you gave me. And? Well, I've never read anything like it, but it's so true, you know? How they say that we're born of a man, yet we come from a woman's body. So much of it is true, but it still seems defiant in a way. To a lot of people, yes. How did it feel to you? Refreshing. Like seeing so many of my thoughts written down on those pages. And sometimes heartbreaking. Why heartbreaking? Because it's not so different now. We still have to settle. And even if we do choose our own way, we end up sacrificing something. One way or another. I know what you mean. I don't think that you do. People just assume that women my age don't know what they want. And it may be that I don't have your experience, but I know to trust my instincts, because I know that they're not clouded by fear. You think I act out of fear? Isn't that why you gave me the book? To make me feel better about having big dreams? I gave you the book because I thought you might enjoy it. To make me feel it. better about being a powerless girl? It isn't girl. like that. To let me know that no matter what I do, I can never be your equal? That I could never have you? Because the world would strike me down for I promise you, they will try. You have a good thing going with that boy and you're willing to throw it all away because of this infatuation that you have with me. Open your eyes, kid. Hey, wait a minute. Stop. Oh, stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I love you. I do, but I'm not a kid. You've been leading me on, and now you're afraid to take what we have. What you're we scared. Have. What is it you think we have? You know what, what we have is a friendship, nothing more than that. I'm going to be this way with or without you. Why are you trying so hard to push me away? I have no idea. You have no idea how lonely it's been. You know, sometimes I don't think I would know what to do if somebody ever loved me, because I'm just so used to being alone. And I think... Well, I think I just adore you. And I do not want your life to be a struggle. You have to trust that I can only do right by you as a friend. I cannot be your friend. Why is it that you get to decide how this goes? Because you're in pain? I'm hurting too. Every time that you insist on treating me like a child, every time that you try to fix me. But you know what? You can't fix me, just like you couldn't fix yourself. Oh, I can't. I can't be your friend. I can't. I just cannot be around you. No! Don't you leave me again. I don't want to lose you. Will you come by tonight? Yes.
Hi. Hi. I'm glad to see you. I am going to have a drink with you. Are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Bobby was here the other night. I left this for him. I don't care. I, I don't. I just want to be here with you right now. I'm here. I haven't danced with the girls since I was 17. Louis Mayfield, or Louis, as she had people call her. Never have known she was a woman just by looking at her. There was something about the way she held me close to her, you know? She was gentle. I just knew that very moment. That's when you knew that you yeah. was different. Did you love her? Yes, I did. I did right away. Oh, of course she was the only person I knew that I could love. And trust. Where is she now? I don't know. I have no idea where she is. Oh. <laughs> But you're here. <laughs> you look beautiful. You just... Shh, stop talking. Yo 
corona negro pero cariñoso todos me dicen el negro llorona negro pero cariñoso yo soy como el chile verde llorona picante pero sabroso yo soy como el chile verde llorona picante pero sabroso No tengo duelo, lloro porque no me ven llorar. Dicen que no tengo duelo, lloro porque no me ven llorar. Hay muerto, no hace ruido, llorona. Es más grande su pena. Hay muertos que no hacen ruido. Llorona es más grande su pena. Feels familiar, doesn't it? What? Uh... This. Like we met in another life, and here we are just picking up where we left off. Yeah. Our bones are made of spirals. What? <gasps> Something I read once. <laughs> Jen? go from here. I have no idea. Just be here with me. Just ache to have you change.